so tempting. You know, one of these games where you just like chill out and the, yeah. uh, the music just takes over mm -hmm. and the beauty of the game just. Yeah, you just sit there and go, wow. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is a moment of a little bit of a lull as we've uh, rapidly expanded to this point and are now trying to build up enough resources to keep expanding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ends Mars will be a thing. Definitely why this is a grand strat here. Yeah. This is a grand strat. This is not a 4X game. 4X game, I should be able to keep expanding continuously the entire time at the same rate, never changing. Can't stop, won't stop. So, to you, what's like an example of, 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 of a 4X? Oh, boy. Like a Diablo? Or Diablo, um, Warcraft, oh. any number of them. Even though they have some resource elements. They have some resource elements, they have a amount of slow, but they never have this slow. Well, that's not too like Diablo probably doesn't. Diablo doesn't really. Um, and, uh, I mean, Starcraft, that sort of thing, are, are proper. So those are proper RTS. RTS yeah. style games. Uh, and when we say Warcraft, we mean Warcraft 3, 3 which is also yeah. an RTS. Um, somewhere between an RTS and a 4X. Uh, just the one in Starcraft is just a sprite. Yep. And. and Campaign. The campaign is another thing. And what makes it more of a 4X is the. Well. Ah. And now we're going to sit here and I'm going to colonize this thing, which is a little ways off. But we can do it. I'm going to just stick that right there because that we can move so both of those moving resources. On, I guess in yeah. our next episode, you can yeah, sure. colonize some more and we move to the south. And Keep colonizing. And west here. Chunky, chunky, chunk. Um, how many episodes before um, combat do you think? No idea. Okay. Depends how relations sour. They always sour. Alrighty. Like a fine wine. See you all in the next episode. <laughs> Good relations? I never had those. Good news is we're not getting bored with these constructor bots. They actually do like us. They trust us. Even. See? They it's, trust you. That's at 36%. You, you've never even thought you'd have diplomacy. No, you thought you were playing as a uh, oh, purely yes. I can offer a trade deal. Research yeah. Hi guys and welcome. We can do a trade deal with other robots for research, probably because we've out researched them. But the couple of things that they do have, we can research faster. We don't know what that is per se, but when we bump into it, we'll figure it out by the fact it will be done in like three months. Um, this is probably more of a good deal for them, but it also builds trust and, and their opinion of us will increase. Also, it's helping out a brother robot in need. The robot cause. A little bit of fuss bumper. Uh, and when that gets accepted, because it always will, if it's positive. I probably should have asked just a lot more about how the diplomacy screen goes. You don't. In general, I assume that center number. That center number is your their opinion of us and our opinion of them. This no, is the no, 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 not this. The the you're making a deal. Oh, the making a deal. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This center number is how much they like what's going on. Oh, okay. In terms of the what deal. Yeah. Going on. And their trade willingness. How much they like what's going on. Oh jeez, I can hear me. Where did this video go? I don't know where the video was. We might have lost video here for a second. Give me a moment. I will check a thing. No, we very clearly have video. Update that. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, right, guys. First stream. I don't know what's going wrong. So, um, you know, what are the Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Stellaris is that kind of a game where you can spend hours at this thing and still not know what the hell you're doing. Uh, a thing that I re noticed recently is that trade willingness uh, seems to have a rather nebulous relation on whether or not they actually want to trade with you. Uh, basically what Stellaris added in the last couple of updates is a likelihood that even if they, they like you and they want to trade with you via how good the deal is, uh, they might reject it. Um, it also, the greater effect of it is how good the deal has to oh. be to get them to work. Um, you know, we, we can also get back to playing. Yeah, of course. Um, it seems like so, we're, we're back to working. Back to working, things everything's good. Together. Sorry, guys, first stream. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, we got another um, to, robot to here. Sort of describe what's going on. Read that thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> well, here you go. It's almost the one here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, dude. Oh, how much does this guy go to YouTube? 
Uh, no idea. We have now the blooper reel. Mm-hmm. Okay. A little, little, little. <coughs> uh, Ryan, get this. I need to get these side ships working. Ready? Yep. I don't know how great our time is, but now we can begin. Okay. So I'm looking for anomalies and special projects for my mediocre science ships to actually get doing. And that guy could totally do that special project right there. I'm going to go get that guy. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to go tell him to do such a special project. That one. You'll get over here. Get doing things. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And slowly but surely we will overcome. Uh, for some reason, our buddy boy entered into an offensive pact with the guy we don't like. Because he's buddies with everybody, apparently. Who's he entering in? Oh, uh, he's, he's entered into an offensive pact with this dude. Zero, one, one. Zero, zero, one, one dude just fucking betrayed us and uh, made a defensive pact with the United Mirrors Make Holdings, which means that if I attack them, I have to attack them now. <sighs> They're all going to be assimilated. Um, well, no, you don't want to hurt your buddy. I mean, can you, can you wiggle them out of that deal? Uh, maybe, but not yet. Okay. Um, it might expire with time. Uh, but I need their relations to deteriorate, and there's no good way to do that. Uh, basically, what I can try to do is uh, make it such that I am so powerful that they don't want to touch me. Um, is, is the easiest way of doing this. Just have a crap load of fully power and get ready to wreck some people. Speaking okay. of, I finally have access to destroyers. We still are at craptastic weapon levels, and I'm going to start doing some ship design again because it's that time of day. You go back to your ship design. I love my ship you design. You love your ship design. You know I do. So now we're going into what like Corvette's phase. The phase Corvette three. Phase, this is the third phase of design, but it's still like phase two. We just got some slightly better phase two. Oh, you got yourself some better weapons, some better defense. That's sort of Thing. I need to fuse back to way up here and get that down there. And we're still at zero power. So it's now just... quite similar. Um, why are you going for siphons as opposed to... I'm going to... for siphons as opposed to the other thing, because that 150% shield damage. As you'll notice, my red laser will ignore 15% of armor and minus 20% shield Yeah, damage. but why don't you go for a red laser or, I can go or a for... blue laser and a... I don't have a blue laser yet. Oh, we researched blue laser. Nope, not yet. I was going to, and then another option appeared more lucrative at the moment. This was a while ago. We haven't cycled physics research in a while. It's stalling. Because we're still, this it was thing. like one of our first things. Like, why don't why didn't I do it immediately? Because I didn't think we would why be. Why don't we get the option to go back and? We'll get there. Okay. Things tend to cycle. I would now, go two later. I'm going to go with two and one and yeah. one laser just for argument's sake. You're not making this cheap, or are you making this cheap? No, I'm not making this cheap. No. I need to make this good. Because we might be going to war pretty soon. Right. Is this going to update all? Mm-hmm. When I tell them to upgrade. This is all my Corvettes. And you're... We're good. You're making sure everything does. You got your yep. plus seven power. Powers, plus seven power. So what it does, we still have the same number of hit points, but I drastically increased the amount of shields on this thing, and I upped the damage output. There we go. We're at 6.33. Previously, we were at uh, probably something around like 6.2. 6.71. Uh, sorry, I didn't update my power up. I specialized my power up. Basically, what I'm doing here is saying that if those guys have shields, we will absolutely massacre them. So now I'm getting out of the different option of why don't you make one kind of ship that's very much anti shield and another kind of ship that's. Uh... It's keeping track of all those different kinds of ships and different. Oh, and in battles, yeah. And in battle is almost impossible because it doesn't really give you that level of squad command. If Stellaris gave me that level of squad command, I would be so happy. Ah, okay. Uh, but they won't. So yes, I'm making a slightly worse ship uh, in the grand scheme of things, but it will be better again with shields, which I postulate is what they're using. Okay. Uh, because it's just likely. Uh, lots of early civilizations will rely on shields. Find slightly better intelligence, I would figure that out. Excellent, we figure out fracking. Ah, now we get to have the fun part of making this, the decision of whether or not we get into kinetic weapons, which have the highest average damage due to a very high fire rate. Mm. 
Notice that's got a fire rate of um, cooldown of uh, 3.5, accuracy 79, 60% tracking, range 45, average damage 2.28. We go over here to what we're currently using on our ships, 2.05, 1, 1.6. Oh, that's a big increase. It's a big increase. The problem is these guys got to get close and really mess stuff up. Plus they just get a flat plus the shield damage. I typically really like mass excel mass drivers and mass accelerators and that sort of thing. I'm gonna go research them partially because I really wanted to build this race with mass accelerators, but um, I told myself what's the to go little lasers. Thing at the bottom of, uh, the, the, that, yeah. I can change my research at any time I want to. Oh, okay. So like over to here, the things that you had to the other choice. couple options I had yeah, as choices. Okay. Um you wanna change the guys around or just um no, we, we want him on that. That's on that. We'll probably flip in the three months when these these couple of things both hit at the same time. Okay. Oof. Ooh. Oh, we're colonizing. That's why. Makes sense. And you'll notice our attack power on the squad went from like 600 some odd to 700. Was it just power? Nope. It increased because we added shields to them. Oh, I'm, I'm, I missed the numbers. Bigger, better. Yeah. Nicer shields. Yeah. So, you know, we're getting pretty close to finishing up this first stream here. We'll probably have, um, in YouTube time, we'll have equivalent of a couple more episodes. Yes. Um, any, like, sort of big goals? Uh, goals for the series, I want to uh, simulate all of the fleshy bipeds. Uh, that's what we are here to do. I am going to attempt to uh, smack into the, to, uh, this, uh, you know, some are holding guys. Uh, so what you can tell is a rough estimated guess of the fleet power naval capacity uh -huh, technological level. Lower, yeah, yeah. They so were about roughly equivalent. Okay. That doesn't necessarily mean we're actually equivalent. It could mean he's slightly more powerful. It could mean I'm slightly more powerful. They're not very precise in this. The point of the game is you have to guess when the right time for war is. It's not going to be clearly shown to you. Uh, unless you truly are eons ahead of somebody. Which takes time to do. Which I'm trying to do. Uh, combat rules is really good. Point defense, however, is a good thing to have because if they have missiles, which they might, I don't know, uh, that can shoot them down really quickly. What about the global missiles. energy movement? Uh, that will get us uh, energy grids, which uh, gain a percentage of the energy you produce on a planet as a lump sum. And you can also have capacity overload edicts. It's really good too. I'm strongly considering it. Because you already have unit oh, um, oh, no, yeah, oh, 09. Yeah, we already have... Yeah, yeah he could go to physics, and then you pop yeah. Y5 down to... And to go get mass drivers quickly. Yeah. I'm probably going to do that. That actually does make sense. I hate that I'm, I'm, I, I'm, that's I'm going for the min-max rather than... Yeah, no, that's yeah. what this game is. There's a lot of min-maxing. I'm going to get that plus one influence because we're losing an influence for this um, frontier outpost. Wow, 53%. Yep. This is really good, and it's what his thing is. And Are you all level four? No. Oh, 09 is a little behind. A little behind because he's been off. Um, but also, what you will notice is uh, that research agreement it was plus 25% twice. <sighs> because they already have this. Those things that we did do early, yep. we're now going to get very quickly. Which hopefully isn't blue lasers. Maybe it's blue lasers. Who knows? Okay, let's go down here. This construction ship. Where are you? You're up there. Oh, that one. Okay, you're a little closer. Over here to Ritos? Or oh, Ritos. Yeah, why yeah. not? Okay. Energy. Energy is good. Let's go get some energy. Off them burritos. <clears throat> of them burritos, apparently. And he wants a burrito predominantly for just having a central... Just having a central power base in the area. Okay. So the way you pick where stations are is more where they fit within your maneuverability region. I try to keep my maneuverability region into the unknown and develop uh, my borders widely. So this was the only uh, habitable world. It's a colony. Okay. 
I don't like building frontier outposts. I try to build as few frontier outposts as possible because they I cost influence. I tend to do the same way because they, yeah. they cost and you don't really get the space very well. Yes, and you don't hold space worth right. damn because you have no population on it. So there was no other uh, civilizable world at all in any form in this area because we can land on any other planet that has an atmosphere. Mm. So there's no there's no there's no atmosphere pool settlable world what, anywhere world? between what Tem. Atmosphere? I don't know. They haven't fixed that yet. Uh, uh, they they are princesses, right? We are fairy princesses. We need, Which we need is the, yeah. uh, the, what is that? Hmm? What was that modifier? Oh, it, it adds more material to consumption. No, no, what's it called? Uh, high maintenance. Okay. Fairy princesses. Um, okay, Corvette building time. Actually, we have a very long power. Let's get that spaceport upgraded here. Let me just make sure my spaceport's not all you... hmm? you We're low on power because we're colonizing. Yeah. We, we're drawing eight into it. Okay, and that's for a burrito here, right? Yep. Sure? Mm -hmm. A burrito, fine. Yeah, but of course. Yes, of course it is. Now, we have the opportunity to go for coil guns, which is the next thing down the line, which will give us even more smack it up. Uh, but also down the same line of uh, weaponry? Sign, or? Uh, same, same line of weaponry. It's the next mass accelerator. Well, we got Wi-Fi here. And we got Wi-Fi here, we can do that. So. What else we could do is the machine template system, where we get operator species. Yeah, but that's better suited for 09. It is better suited for 09. He's and already he's already busy. And um, we're about to go to war. I can just smell it. Okay. Coil guns. So I'm going to go in here to Ship Designer, I'm going to flip out that laser right there for that mass driver right there. Now this will really chew shields, because we have plus 300% shield damage and plus 33. Um, okay. Just because of how those sorts of things work. If you have something that's, Same power. that's mostly a hull point or If we have mostly armor. a hull point or an armor, we're not too much worse off, uh, because that mass accelerator does the same amount of damage. Uh, no matter what it's shooting at, it just gets plus 33% in addition. The problem that we are doing is we are forgoing a little bit of potential uh, armor penetration from lasers, and we're forgoing a slightly higher damage on the two energy siphons. Hmm. If these were lasers, they'd be a little bit better at just hitting anything, um, or I could just make them all small mass drivers, which would be actually... Yeah, it's optimal right now. I'm going to keep one, uh, just because they are really, really, really good at draining shields, but I don't know whether or not these guys actually have shields. As far as we know, we're about to waltz in there. And this well, mass drivers are pretty good all around. They're pretty good all around, and they're really good at taking out shields once they get larger. Or the siphons really are only against shields. Only good against shields. They're good early game shield drain. Okay. So I'm going to upgrade my guys again. Yes, this is the Vigilionth upgrade of this army. They get newer and better ships all the time. Okay. So as we're coming, you know, toward near the end of this series, um, well, no, near the end of this Twitch recording. This, this Twitch recording. Um, we have we, expanded we, I think quite rapidly. More of this. Oh, yeah, we're yeah so there'll be one more episode within this, <laughs> this sequence. Yeah. Um, and and um, you, we're going for like a, a Thursday, 3 p.m. ish. Uh, Thursday, 3 p.m. sounds about right. Is, um, is about that'd be this Thursday, which is twenty seventh, I do believe. No, twenty eighth. My computer just shot up with as my uh, calendar. Doop to do. Um, the twenty eighth. The twenty eighth of uh, September. Uh, September at three p.m. Eastern Time. East Coast. Uh, well, and now they know things about me. 